In this video, I'm going to do an example problem of one that is a sequence in its real life. Uh, we're talking about Laura here. Laura decided to purchase a new washer. She made an initial payment of $70 and pays $41 a month toward her bill. How much has Laura paid toward her washer at the beginning of the seventh month? Now, there's a couple different ways we can go with this. Uh, one important note is that she's paying this amount toward her bill, not paying down her bill. Um, if I asked how much was left on her bill, that would be something else. But this is all how much has she paid total, basically, is what we're getting into. So the very first thing that we want to determine is, is this one an arithmetic or a geometric sequence? An arithmetic ge uh, sequence, we are adding or subtracting some amount, okay? So she initially pays $70 and then pays an additional $41 every month toward it. Okay, so this is going to be, we're going to be adding that 41 to it. A geometric sequence is one in which we are, we have a common ratio is what they call it, but basically you're multiplying it by some common factor. That's not what we're doing here. We're just adding this 41 every single month. It's the same amount, $41, it never changes. So this one is an arithmetic sequence. Okay, well, now that we know that, we can bring in our formula for arithmetic sequences. And this is the original formula uh, what we need to do now is determine what we know and start plugging that in. Well, we know a of 1. a of 1 is always the first term in the sequence. In this case, her initial payment was $70. So that was our, our first term. Okay, the uh, d value now would be the difference. How much does it change every month? In this case, it goes up $41. And it goes up because, we're not again, we're not talking about the bill or how much she owes on it. We're talking about how much she's paid. So the amount that she's paid increases by $41 every month. Now what we do is we're going to plug this into the equation right here. So for a of 1, that is the first term, 70. And d again is the difference. That's our 41. All right, well, now that we know that, well, now we've got this formula worked out specific to this problem. Now we need to determine uh, how much she's paid toward the washer at the beginning of the seventh month. So 7 is what we're going to plug in for n. So in both cases, here and here, I'm going to plug in 7. Now, if you wanted to, on this one on the right-hand side, you could just simply plug that one into your calculator. It would spit out the answer, and you'd be done. If you want to do it by hand, that's not a problem either. We just need to make sure we do our, our order of operations correctly. 7 minus 1 is 6. Um, 6 times 41 now would give me 246. And then, of course, we have our initial payment um, of $70. So she's paid a total of $316 toward this new washer that she's got.